Hi, I'm Amy, the Greenhouse Manager. Today we're going to talk about hanging basket care. Hanging baskets are a staple of our summer gardens. They add color to our landscape and often attract hummingbirds and butterflies to our garden. Today we're going to give you some tips and tricks to keeping your hanging baskets blooming all summer long. When selecting a hanging basket, you want to make sure that you have the proper light levels for the flowers you pick. Plants such as petunias are going to like full sun. When watering your hanging basket, you want to water at the soil level. This may require you to get under some of the flowers so you can properly water your basket. Canupers recommends watering your baskets in the morning versus the hot afternoon sun. This will help the flowers and foliage to dry off before the sun hits them, which can burn them if they remain wet. When temperatures rise into the 80s and 90s during the heat of summer, you'll want to water your basket once to twice a day. To determine if your hanging basket needs water, simply stick your finger down into the soil one inch. If you feel that it is dry, it's time to water your plant. If you still feel moisture, hold off another day. Deadheading your hanging baskets is another great way to keep them flowering all summer long. Petunias usually need deadheading. Where you see the spent flowers, simply pinch back. Other plants that may need deadheading include verbena, geranium, and pansies. We've all had hanging baskets that get leggy on us. The best way to keep this under control is to give them a good haircut early July. Simply trim long leggy growth off of your plant Pruning your plants back early July will keep them blooming all season long. You should see new growth in one to two weeks. You fertilize your combo pots and bedding plants. Why not your hanging baskets? Fertilizing your combo pots will keep them blooming all summer long. Osmocote is a great slow release fertilizer that you can apply to your baskets once a month. Every time you water, small amounts of fertilizer get released to the plant roots. Another great fertilizer is miracle Grow. This is a water-soluble fertilizer that you would use twice a month on your flowering hanging baskets. Since hanging baskets are often hung in the air, they are more susceptible to drying out quicker than plants planted in the ground or in combination planters. In order to avoid your plants drying out, it's good to monitor your hanging baskets twice a day, especially when it's hot and sunny. Customers often ask me what are good hanging baskets for shade. Streptocarpella is a great hanging basket for low levels of light, anything under four hours of sun. Boston ferns are another great shade-loving hanging basket. If you're looking for a hanging basket for the shade that trails, Terenia is a great choice for you. And if you're looking for the wow factor, these tuberous begonias are sure to impress. Full sun is considered six to eight hours. The perfect plants for those conditions are petunias, and caliber color. Yellow Bidens makes a great pop of color for this purple petunia basket. If you're looking for a flower that will bloom all summer long, look no further than verbena. I hope the tips we've shared with you today help you pick out the perfect hanging basket to enjoy all summer long. 